In this video, we are going to see three examples that cannot be corrected well with gradient correction due to the nature of the image data. In this first image, we see a clear vignetting over correction. The problem is that the corner gradients have a very small scale and also a very steep slope. To correct these gradients, we need to decrease the scale and smoothness value. But by doing this, we overcorrect the gaseous envelope of the nebula, leaving only its skeleton. Finding a combination of parameters that works minimally well requires using an exotic combination of values. With these parameters, we can partially recover the gas envelope of the nebula. We achieve this using a simplified grade 6 model, but we also need to change one of the hidden parameters. We must lower the convergence limit so that gradient correction performs more iterations. This way we can use a greater scale and smoothness and continue correcting the corners. Despite modifying all these parameters, the nebula still suffers from a slight overcorrection in these areas. The only way to correct this image is with Mars. With Mars, we can correct the corners and not cause any overcorrection in the entire nebula. This is also a very difficult case for gradient correction. Although we can control how the local background is calculated around the dark nebulae, they take up a large part of the image and are very diffuse with very subtle contrast. To minimize the loss of contrast in the dark nebulae, we can increase the scale and softness in addition to raising the low tolerance value. This way we achieve a fairly good correction of the gradients and minimize the loss of contrast. Furthermore, we see that we are not causing any bright halos around the dark structures. How does this compare to Mars? With Mars, we can fully preserve the global contrast of the entire set of dark nebulae. With gradient correction, although the correction is also very good, the color and contrast of the nebulae tend to be neutralized. This is because it is impossible to distinguish this decrease in brightness towards the center of the image from an artificial gradient. Only with Mars can we differentiate this natural gradient from an artificial one and completely preserve the entire structure of the nebula. This image is a case impossible to correct with gradient correction. Here we have a gradient that goes in a diagonal direction from green to red. If we apply the tool with the default values, we get this. The gradients are completely corrected, but we empty the nebula. This occurs because the nebula is itself a gradient. That is, it is very uniform and in its center it has almost no structures. Consequently, gradient correction interprets it as an artificial gradient. If we increase the scale and smoothness to their maximum values, we get a better result, but we are still affecting the center of the nebula. We cannot expect a better correction using a tool that is based exclusively on image data. In this case, it would be better to use DBE because we can selectively place samples without placing any inside the nebula. With Mars, we can avoid this type of overcorrection. With this technique, we preserve all the light inside the nebula much better. We also discovered that the structure in this corner was not actually a gradient, but was the beginning of another nebular structure. In this image, the nebula itself is a very smooth gradient that can only be corrected if we have an external reference to the image. Mars is designed to provide an absolute reference on the entire sky and is the only way to have an objective gradient correction.